What's going on, buddy? Chubab for the CK Stay Greens. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos, follow me on my social media. It will be in the description box below. Give the video a thumbs up. Doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny, helps the channel a lot. I really appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button. Use all my affiliate links in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get to the review. You guys want to know why I got a tan? Because I just came back from Florida, back at home. Got to go back to work. Got to do all that shit, all right? Now, I ain't gonna lie, I get like, my, my eyes are sensitive, so I'm gonna put on some shades. Yay. It's not even sunny out. Oh, it's sunny out, but it's like the, the clouds are kind of like overlaying it, so you can't really even see. But I ain't gonna lie, I got sensitive eyes, I'll be doing this shit. Like, even when it's like cloudy out, I'll be like, I don't know why I got sensitive eyes, so. The, uh, the shades are not for looks, but they do make you look better, you know? Anyways, Bucked Up Energy, gin and juice. I'm actually on my way to the gym before I go to work. I always go to the gym, and it's uh, it's in the afternoon. So uh, this is, by the way, this is the um, this is the low stem version. This is the gin and juice caffeine, 100 milligrams. That's it, only 100 milligrams. Um, the reason I bought this is because I never tried this flavor. It wasn't because it's the low stem version. So, by the way, the, the low stem version is supposed to be 100 milligrams of caffeine. It's still got dynamine in here. It's still got alpha GPC for focus. It's still got, um, it's still got teacrine in here for, uh, for, um, for, um, a dynamine and, and teacrine are for energy and shit. And then you also have caffeine. You also have betaine anhydrous. Um, well, no, not betaine anhydrous. Caffeine anhydrous. Uh, then there's tyrosine for focus, then beta alanine. I don't know how much of beta alanine. I don't know how much of any of it other than the caffeine. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Let's try it out. Just a new flavor. Quick little review. And I'll send you guys on your way, all right? Here we go. Old school in the car reviews. <sighs> I don't know what gin and juice is supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be gin and juice, but what kind of juice? And how can you have gin if it's not alcoholic? So, I don't know. Here we go. Let's try it out. I'm, I'm not a really... Uh, Alcohol enthusiast, so I, I know nothing about this shit. But it's called Jimin Juice. Let's go and try it out and try to dissect what this is supposed to be. Here we go. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. That's so weird. I'm getting like a mango taste. I'm trying to dissect it, guys. Sometimes I'm stumped and I try to give you my best thoughts on what I think it tastes like. I think it tastes like mango, like a light, refreshing mango. Maybe like a little bit of like a, an apple undertone, like a mango apple undertone of some sort. And even perhaps like a champagne taste. Um, like a cream soda. That's what I'm gonna get, yeah. Like a cream soda, champagne, mango, apple taste. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds fucked up, but that's what I'm getting here. So that's my thoughts. I don't know, it's really good. It's actually easy to drink, solid. Very good, I like it. Very good. Um, so as far as the flavor on this bad boy, I'm gonna give this a 8.5. I like it a lot. Um, I definitely think it's unique, solid, and uh, yeah, so that's my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. What do you think this flavor tastes like? If you've tried it in, in the comment section below, other than that, subscribe to the channel. All my food links are in the description. Other than that, we're progressing and ever regressing. Other than that, I'll check you guys later. Yeah.